Hi, this is CS Trades 101. Thank you for joining me here today. I got an awesome video on the actual information of what AMC is at. I've had a lot of people ask me that price, and legally I can't divulge that information. There's a lot of speculation. This guy is, tells it straight up what the price is. Um, I, do, I, I do go off of what this guy says. Um, it's about dark pool information, um, about how they're screwing us, and about how they're all investigations. This is more clear on what's going on. This video is also a day old. So, I'm not the first guy to pr uh, produce this. Um, this is somebody else's content. Um, but you can hit the sub button as we do cover the latest news. And you guys all know that if you're my subs. So, kick back and enjoy. As the squeeze for AMC draws closer, the concern for when it will happen and the actual price it will peak at has been a huge topic. That, along with the fact that some investors are now worried that their brokerage might intervene by stopping them from either selling their shares or buying mm -hmm. more. Robinhood has been guilty of this in the past, and it's no surprise that they continue to find themselves in the headlines. Breaking. Regulators are investigating the fact that Robinhood CEO Vlad Tenev is not licensed by FINRA, according to the online trading platform. Going by this statement, this means that the CEO of one of the most infamous brokerages was able to set one up without the proper registrations. This was just on the news. Credentials that are being called into question as the SEC has started investigating Robinhood employees. Mm -hmm. Washington Brooders. Robinhood Marcus I did a video on this, remember guys, Tuesday, about a month ago. received inquiries from U.S. watchdogs asking whether employees traded GameStop and AMC before the online broker publicly announced it was restricting trading in those two and other meme stocks on January 28th. The company is also being probed over whether it complied with the personnel registration rules. The newly disclosed inquiries from the SEC and FINRA are the latest regulatory headwind facing the company as it heads towards its hotly anticipated initial public offering this week. For some reason, it seems Robinhood can't stay away from the headlines as every reference to them is either another investigation or mm -hmm. some underhanded tactic being used. This has caused many ape investors to leave the platform in search of a new one in case of a scenario where they are unable to capitalize on the squeeze. With dark pools and synthetic shares being common knowledge, investors have begun theorizing what the real price of AMC could be. The current rumor floating around is that AMC is actually priced at $8,000, $10 a share with no synthetics. This number was discovered using data given by Fidelity and Charles Schwab, and apes have concluded... This is the number I'm coming out with, guys. Same number. AMC's Give or take 500 bucks. easily sitting above 8 k as apes have dug deeper and deeper into finding AMC's real price, bots have also increased their efforts into keeping it a secret. They're going to keep AMC between $35 and $45 until there is no squeeze at all and there is nothing retail investors can do about it. They prove that every single day we need to wake up. The share price is the only real price. Everything else is fantasy land and for entertainment. The share price needs to go up for many reasons. At this rate, the squeeze will take years. Is everyone blind? I'm just not getting where you see a squeeze happening anytime soon. At this point in time, it's pretty much confirmed AMC is trading at a higher price that's not being displayed on available brokerages. Their attempt to hide the truth only makes an ape's position stronger as they know this isn't true and it only backs up the conviction they have in the first place. Hold. At the very worst, these bots will only get the paper handed to sell, leaving real apes to spoop up their shares and hold in their place. If we were wrong, they would have covered by now. If we were wrong, they wouldn't have hired thousands of shills and written bot scripts for accounts. If we were wrong, they wouldn't be offering people money to become bots. If we were wrong, they wouldn't be shutting down YouTube investors and sending cease and desist letters to financial investment brokers who speak out against them. If we were wrong, they wouldn't tell us we were wasting our money. If we were wrong, they wouldn't need to continue to borrow shares just to fight us. And finally, if we were wrong, they would have disproven our DD and facts. They have yet to disprove it or why the MOAS won't happen. Not a single shred. What are dark pools? 
Uh, Dark Pools, the name of my new book, Dark Pools. Uh, these, there's a technical term. Um, they're basically these electronic venues where stocks are swapped privately or in secret away from the, the big exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange. In my book, I'm actually making an, an argument that the entire market has gone dark. It's not just the dark pools. Uh, they kind of rose up in the early 2000s as more and more electronic trading moved on to the exchanges. Now, because electronic trading is everywhere, you can't get away from it. The market has become incredibly opaque, and no one really knows what's mm -hmm. going on, especially the regulators. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of high so frequency true. traders swim in these dark pools. How dangerous right. are the waters? Right. Uh, well, they're getting pretty toxic, I think. Uh, the exchanges, uh, which is where most people used to trade, have they started catering to these high frequency traders about 10 years ago. The dark pools rose up so the big firms could go and trade in secret away from the high frequency traders. Now, the, I guess the, the dirty little secret of the dark pools is the high frequency traders are swimming there too. So there's nowhere to hide, essentially. And how does this affect individual investors like you and me? Is it chasing them out? Did they cause the flash crash? How dangerous is it for the average Joe investor? Mm -hmm. Well, the high frequency firms serve a purpose, okay? They're sort of like the new market makers of the market, so they do provide liquidity for big firms to trade, but they also uh, engage in sort of a statistical front running. Um, they can detect when big orders are coming to the market. That's why the big firms are fleeing to the dark pools. Um, but like I say, they're there too. So it does when a when a big institution is trying to trade, these guys will run up the price and make it more expensive to buy and sell. Yeah. And the government is trying to clamp down on these dark pools and on these uh, insidious traders. What's the government doing? The uh, SEC right now is looking into this. Uh, we've reported uh, in a few stories in the Wall Street Journal that they're investigating some of the practices that high frequency traders. Uh, are engaging in on exchanges and in dark pools. So they're trying, but it's very complicated. And sometimes I feel like the regulators are outgunned because of how complex it is. And here's the thing, we keep hearing that volumes keep declining, but high frequency trading keeps increasing. Can you reconcile those two? Uh, well, I guess uh, volume and liquidity aren't always the same thing. So high frequency traders put a lot of liquidity into the market and a lot of orders but they're not always trading. They're mm -hmm. canceling a lot of their orders. And a lot of regular traders are running away because they, you know, I've talked to hedge fund managers and, and traders who say they just can't trade in these markets anymore because it's, it's too hard to, to get an order out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that you found some value from the topics discussed. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to check out the Weeble link. Okay, guys, um, I just wanted to... Uh to show you that there and uh sorry guys so yeah i just wanted to show you that there and if you want to hit the sub button we always have the latest news and uh, always keep this shit real on this channel and uh tell me what you think in the comments um this is some real uh i i crunched the numbers too i got a little bit higher i got about eight thousand about 562 that's my number i got tell me what you guys think Tell me what you guys think down below. We know we're getting screwed. Um, the government are on it. Um, <clears throat> like I said, all my subs know that we are very bullish. I've already filed an, a, a, a letter with the CSC. Um, and I've left the description down below in a lot of my videos. So you tell me what you think. And if you're new uh, to our channel, hit the sub button. Because we got your back. Peace.